What's up guys, welcome back to Better Developer Docs. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to add, uh, sorry, hide your add to cart buttons uh, when a user is not logged in and only when they're not logged in. Um, when the user is logged in, they will, they will be able to see uh, the add to cart buttons across the entire site. And just to make sure that um, you're following along correctly, um, I'm going to uh, be doing this in uh, WooCommerce, which is the most popular e-commerce plugin for WordPress. So this is um, specifically how to do this in WooCommerce WordPress. Um, let's get into it. So there's three ways that I'm going to show you to do basically the same thing. So we're going to use PHP to, um, to do this first. And then if PHP isn't an option, then I'm going to um, show you how to do this with CSS. And if CSS is an option, then I'm going to show you how to do this with uh, jQuery JavaScript. So let's get into the first one, which is PHP. Um, if you go to this um, URL, which I'll leave in the description below, um, you can see that I am giving you some code here to copy and paste into your site. So um, I'm just going to um, copy all of that. And then I'm going over to uh, my CMS. So this is the WordPress CMS for uh, the site with which you want to edit. Um, if, if you don't have login details to the CMS, then you're not gonna be able to do this. So make sure you have those first. And once you're logged in, um, just go underneath the appearance tab, go to theme file editor, and you'll be shown a screen like this. And then um, select the correct file from this menu over here. Um, I am going to want to put this in functions.php. A little note on uh, block themes um, versus traditional themes or classic themes. Um, if you're using a block theme, they don't by default have a functions.php, but uh, when you create your child theme, which is the best way to um, extend a theme, um, best practice way in WordPress, um, you can actually add a functions.php and it will still understand how to use that file and the code you put inside of it. So uh, just a little tip there. Um, so I've pasted this in and I'm just going to explain what it's doing. So um, it's always good to know what the code is that uh, what, what the code is trying to do that um, that you're copying, especially from tutorials. So um, there's two, at a high level, there's two things going on here. We're using a, a filter and we're adding a particular um, function, which is this one, to that filter. And in WordPress, filter of functions are a way that we can sort of interject um, normal functionality um, or hijack maybe is, a, is another way to say that. Um, we're interrupting the flow of the WordPress and WooCommerce uh, WooCommerce code execution, and we're just adding in some custom um, functionality at a particular point. The particular point that we're adding it to is when WooCommerce is checking to see if um, the product is purchasable or, or if all products are purchasable in this case. So um, at that point, we're adding in our custom function and inside of our custom function, we're doing these two things. So by default, if this code doesn't execute, we just return false, which means that no products are able to be bought, right? Which will remove the add to cart button. However, we're putting a clause in here saying that if, if you're logged in, if you're a logged in user, then we actually want you to see the buttons. And we, in that case, we're gonna return true. So what I'm doing here is just a little logical check. Um, we're using um, this WordPress core function here uh, to check if um, the user is logged in or not. That will give us a true or false value here in this variable. And then we're just checking uh, if that variable is true or not. If it is, we return true um, and we do not return false. That's it. So um, I'm gonna update this file and then we're gonna go over to our shop page and we can see that um, all our add to, add to cart buttons are here and I'm just gonna refresh this and um, you're still going to see them though. 
right? So it's refreshed and you still see the add to cart buttons and that's normal. That's because we are actually logged in. You, you can tell that I'm logged in because the admin bar up here is um, actually uh, showing. That means that I'm logged in, generally speaking. Um, so we can see here by this example that when we are logged in, the add to cart buttons show and that's all fine and good. We can also see that over here, if we re refresh this page, add to cart button still shows all good. Um, what we actually want to do now is go and get an incognito tab, which is here. So uh, we're using an incognito tab to replicate a user not being logged in. Um, so when I open up an incognito tab, it's, it's separate from this other um, browser um, session. And in this particular tab, the browser does not know that I'm, um, it, it thinks that I'm not logged in, right? And so this is the way that we're going to test uh, whether or not this functionality is working or not. So I'm going to refresh this page. And we can see here that we still get a button, but it's not an add to cart button. It's a read more button. And all this does is make a link to our specific product page where you can see that the add to cart button has been removed. So yeah, we can see that this has actually worked in this case. So all good. Let's move on to the next method of hiding these buttons. So I'm going to remove the PHP that I put in. I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go back to um, my blog post where I wrote this. And I'm going to now show you how I would do the exact same thing only using CSS, right? No PHP. So um, go back to this blog post. Again, link is in the description below. And just copy this code here and then we're going to go back to we're going to go appearance and then customize okay so we went to appearance and then customize and I'm going to scroll down to additional CSS and scroll down to the bottom uh, put a little note here so I know where to delete this code from later and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to hit publish and then I'm just going to explain what this is doing. So um, these two sets of CSS, right? Body A dot add to cart button and body button dot single add to cart button. These are known as uh, CSS selectors and they allow us to select just the add to cart buttons on our pages. And we're just saying with, um, with CSS, we're saying display none which is basically hiding them. So that's always going to happen. Um, th this code will always run by default. And in the case that we have this other um, scenario where someone's logged in, then we're actually gonna change that from uh, display none to display block, which is the CSS way of saying it's, it's being shown. Um, and the reason why this works is because of this little nuance dot logged in. So if you compare this body a dot add to cart button to this, the difference is this is now body dot logged in a dot add to cart button. And this, this will allow us to um, target users who are logged in via CSS. The reason why this works is because whenever um, whenever you're logged into a WordPress website and if you right click and go inspect, you will open up the console and if you scroll up to body tag, you'll actually see that there is this logged in class applied to the body tag. So this is only applied when someone is logged in, which means that uh, we can actually target users when they're logged in just via CSS. So let's go and 
uh, we've published that already, so that's fine. Um, we've saved that. The next thing I'm going to want to do is just make sure that I've got a few cache plugins running on this site, so I'm going to purge the cache. This one too. And this is just so that um, because we've added CSS, uh, browsers actually cache CSS, um, so that there's a, a speed uh, a page load uh, page load advantage, and if we are changing CSS, sometimes we need to just um, uh, clear the caches just to make sure that um, we get the fresh set of CSS and not the uh, pre-existing CSS before we made our changes. So I'm going to reload this page, but uh, you can see here I'm going to reload it um, while emptying the cache. And now we are we are back in our logged in um, browser, right? We're logged in because we can see the admin bar. And so for that reason, we we do actually see the add to cart buttons, right? So just like in the pre previous example, in order to check if this is working in um, uh, the in the scenario where someone is not logged in, I'm going to go to my incognito tab and I'm going to refresh this page. So if this has worked, I would expect uh, to not see the button here. And that is exactly what is happening. Um, I'm just going to go back to the shop page and double check that it's working there also. And it is right. So we can see that, um, we can see that our buttons are no longer here. We do see that there is a view products, um, button here. So cool. Um, I just clicked that just to double check that there was no um, ability to um, add to cart. So that's that's okay as far as I'm concerned. If you wanted to hide that button, you could right click on it, find out what the class name is, right? So button, product type grouped, you could, you could then add some more CSS to hide that particular button as well if you wanted to. In my particular scenario, I don't want to, so that's I'm just going to leave that. Um, but yeah, that's working in CSS, so that's all fine and good. Let's see how we can do the same thing with jQuery, jQuery JavaScript. The first thing I'm going to do is just remove my CSS that I added because I don't want this to interfere with the jQuery that I'm going to add. <clears throat> so we'll save that. And then we'll go back to this. And basically what you want to do here is take the code from the script tag, which is this set of code, copy that, go back to your dashboard. So go back to theme file editor. We're already here. And we're going to go to our footer.php file and scroll down to the bottom and before the closing body tag, which is here, I, I want you to add this code, right? So that's been added, all fine and good. Now I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to do two things. I'm going to purge the caches, right? Because we also, browsers also cache JavaScript and, um, uh, yeah, JavaScript in general. So um, we need to clear our caches again. And now I'm just going to explain what is going on here in the script tag. Um, basically, the first line is just so that we don't get any conflicts between um, different sort of um, implementations of uh, jQuery JavaScript, which you might have. Um, if this, this shouldn't cause you problems, but if it is, then try it without it. Um, and the the main logic I want to talk about here is um, how we are actually hiding the buttons. So we're actually following the exact same logic uh, that we followed in the CSS. We're just using jQuery in order to do CSS. So the first three lines are saying, um, Sorry, the first, yeah, the first three lines are saying hide all of these 
CSS selectors, right? So these are the add to cart buttons. And then our last two lines are targeting, um, are targeting um, those buttons that are present when a user is logged in. So if you remember from the previous section, I said that the dot logged in uh, class is, is always there. If a user is uh, logged in, and in this way, we can um, we can quite easily um, target those users who are logged in. Okay, so we've got our CSS. Uh, sorry, we've got our JavaScript, and we are going to go back over to our browser window, which has um, a user logged in. All right, I'm logged in over here, and we can see that our add to, add to cart button is showing for both both of these pages and then in order to test this over here in shop i am reloading the page by also refreshing the cache and we can see that again our add to cart button is has been removed if i if I um, go to the product page, you saw it. You saw the button briefly flash up there for a second, but then the jQuery kicked in and it was hidden. So um, yeah, that's how you could do that in jQuery. And that, guys, is how you um, can hide your um, add to cart buttons um, in three different ways using uh, PHP, CSS, and jQuery. Thanks for watching.